Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again today. An increasing number of older men are giving up their health insurance in search of love overseas. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how irresponsible that is. Let's talk about how crazy that is. I'm not preaching to anybody because the new default phrase that we want to use today is, oh, I'm, I'm grown, I'm a man, I can do whatever I want to do. Well, your irresponsibility, somebody's going to have to pay for that. But let's just talk about some things in general. Why would you even do that? What bothers me really is the ease at which men give up their health care as if they're not going to need it. Not realizing that the older we get, the odds of us needing health care, some type of health care, increase dramatically. Let me throw these numbers out there at you, and I'm going to put the link in the description. 85% of U.S. adults 65 and over have one chronic illness. And then 65 to 75 percent of those same adults, 65 and over, suffer from at least two chronic illnesses. What are you talking about? Heart disease, cancer, respiratory disease, diabetes. You name it, man, we got it. And we're just throwing our health care in the garbage in search of love overseas. We've been fooled. Somebody sent out a, M a memo that... You can purchase insurance over here that's going to be on the same level of the coverage you're giving up. Bullshit. If you got Medicare or any type of government insurance, as you get older, you're not going to be able to buy an insurance plan that's on the same level or better than that. Take it from me. Why are we doing it, man? It's not. There's not that much love in the world. It's not a matter of if you're going to need care, it's going to be when. You see, example after example after example of what happens when you don't have health care overseas. I want to keep talking about it because maybe it may change somebody's mind about throwing away their coverage. It certainly changed my mind. What I've seen over the last two years since the Philippines open back up has changed my whole perspective on retirement. I can guarantee you this if I'm fortunate enough to live to be 65 and get my Medicare, I will use it. Okay, I'm going to revamp my whole retirement situation because I will not live as a senior, as an elderly man without insurance coverage. Period. End of story. It's irresponsible. It's crazy. But the numbers are increasing. Every older man that you see over here more than likely has done it. They call themselves living over here. They've done it. They've given up their insurance. In the American's case, it's Medicare. And you wonder to yourself, what's going on? Why would you do that? There's not enough love in the world to convince me to do that. As we get older, it's a matter of time. You're going to need it, ladies and gentlemen. We got to think this all the way through. You don't want to be on YouTube. You don't want to be on Facebook asking friends and relatives and strangers for help. If you can't afford to live overseas, maybe you should come up with another plan. Because we, we have... These, uh, these dogs. Get out of here. Get out of here. We have the impression that healthcare is inexpensive over here. No matter where you go, healthcare is very, very expensive. It's going to be the most expensive thing you got to deal with. Even more expensive than that woman that you giving up your healthcare to come over here for. It's crazy, right? About 15% of people 65 and over have been diagnosed with mental disorders. Think about that. Diagnosed. A lot of people don't go to the doctor 
to get that type of exam. They're afraid of what they're going to find out. I'm just saying, is it a good plan to give up the best insurance coverage that you're going to have as a senior citizen and move overseas in search of this new life or, in most cases, a woman? And then have to depend on the, uh, you know, the goodness, the kindness of strangers in most cases, guys. Thank y'all so much for stopping by. It's, it's crazy that we're even having this discussion, right? These are guys I'm talking to who retired from the military. You've done it all. But you take your common sense and you throw it out the window. It's like they gave you a lobotomy. When you got on the plane, it's the craziest thing that you could do, guys. You have to rethink that. Do not give up your health care coverage as an older man in search of love or a new life or whatever it is you run into the Philippines in these places for. It's crazy. It's beyond crazy. And the ease at which we're doing it speaks to our mental condition. Chronic loneliness and isolation is doing a job on us, man, when you want to do that. So thank y'all so much for stopping back. Somebody's got to have these real-life conversations. It's not a 24-hour party. Okay? At some point, you're going to need that insurance, man. What are you going to do then? Do you have twenty, twenty-five thousand 25000 set to the side? If you do... My next question is, why would you want to waste it on health care when you got health care already? You could do something else with that money. Don't give it to these hospitals that, that we don't trust and these doctors that we don't trust. I'm going to continue to talk about it. Maybe I can get somebody to change their mind, to rethink their retirement plan. Because if you get in front of my camera and say, you think it's a good plan to give up your insurance and come over here and then rely on friends, family, and strangers for your care, you out of your damn mind. So if you're in America, in the Philippines, wherever you are, find it in your heart to help somebody. Now, day goes by, I don't help somebody. You know, guys, I'm going to tell you all something. I'm too close to the action. You know... I made a video from a members only channel because we all pitched in and we bought supplies and everything. Over 1,500 pounds of rice and all the other stuff that we thought that people needed uh, who were victims of this, this horrendous fire, right? And I went over there, man. I was up close to this damn fire. It was like I was frozen. It's like I was in shock. I get home to make the video, you know, for the members. You know, this accountability, basically, receipts. And, man, I started crying, man. I couldn't stop crying. I hadn't cried like that in, since my mother died in 1993. And, you know, of course, when you're crying and you're going through this stuff, you can't really see it. But when I went back and I watched the tape, I was like, wow, what happened to me? It's like I was frozen, man. I was in shock. I'm not trained, okay, to be uh, on the front lines like that, of trauma like that. That's why I did the spin wheel. Okay, we're going to take some more supplies over today, but I'm going to let Merlin do it. Guys, you know, this this mental and physical health, you're going to need it over here, man. Okay? If you don't need nothing else, you're going to need that. Do not just forfeit it. You worked your whole life for it. You paid into the system for it. Okay? So take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. You know, it, it is true. When you help other people, you help yourself. Okay, that's about the most profound thing I say on my videos every day.
I'll see y'all next time, man. Don't do anything stupid, guys. Don't give up your health care coverage, man. Don't do it. You're going to need it. And all these plans about, oh, I'm going to fly to the United States. I'm going to fly to Guam. I'm going to do this and that. Listen, you can't do any of that on your back. You can't do any of that unconscious. Okay? If you're going to do that, if that's going to be part of your plan, do it now while you're conscious, while you're healthy. Go over there now to Guam or wherever you're going and get the checkup. Get the medical procedures that you need. This shit's got out of hand, man. We done lost our damn mind. Giving up your health coverage for some booty?